very historic day here for the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. My name's Eric Danner. I'm the Associate Commissioner of the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference, and we're going to have some opening comments from our panel here, and we're going to start with Chris Graham, the Commissioner of the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference, and we're going to pass down the mic to you, Chris. Eric, thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. I know we're getting started a few minutes early here, but I appreciate everybody attending and showing up for what Eric has already mentioned is a really historic opportunity and event that uh, I'm, I'm pleased to announce. Uh, we have with us representatives of USA Wrestling, the Olympic Training Center, and the Colorado Springs Sports Corporation. And it was through their support and their partnerships over the last six months or so that um, brought us here today. We are proud to announce the revival of the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference Wrestling Championship Tournament to be held here at the Olympic Training Center on Sunday, January 31st. We'll have nine RMAC member institutions that sponsor rem, uh, wrestling participating with 90 student athletes competing for individual and team titles for the first time in nearly two decades. And so it's my great pleasure to uh, join Aaron McGuire here at the Olympic Training Center and uh, Tom Osborne, Colorado Springs Sports Corporation and Cody Bickle, Bickley with USA Wrestling. Uh, it's been an instrumental role that USA Wrestling has played in this event and leading up to it. And I'd also like to recognize Rich Bender, the CEO, who was uh, unable to be with us today. He's out of town at an event. But with Rich's support and Cody and USA Wrestling, we are proud to announce that we're putting RMAC Wrestling back on the map, not just within this region, not just within Division II, but within the wrestling community, which is very important for us. We, uh, we're doing this first and foremost for our student athletes. We're providing our wrestlers a championship experience, something, as I already indicated, they haven't had in nearly two decades. We're joining USA Wrestling and providing the student athletes a glimpse at Olympic wrestling during this period, and we're doing it in a world-recognized facility that's why we're here today. We also have another opportunity to continue supporting wrestling within the community and within the Rocky Mountain region. This will be an event unlike any other in Division II and particularly within wrestling. Student athletes within the NCAA, unfortunately, don't have the same opportunity that our student athletes are going to have, and we consider ourselves very fortunate for that reason, and I'd like to thank these individuals here. Uh, I would just like to mention a few more things before I turn it over to the, the other individuals up here for comment. This is the first wrestling tournament since 1996. We have 13 national championship teams in RMAC wrestling. That's our second most successful sport at the national level other than cross country, which many of you in this region are aware is a highly competitive program for us. We now have an opportunity to showcase that level of wrestling competition that we've had for many, many years here at the Olympic Training Center. It's the first collegiate wrestling event that will ever be hosted here at the Olympic Training Center. It's a unique partnership between amateur athletic organizations, an NCAA conference, and a national governing body. This will be the first time ever that the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference has ever partnered with a national governing body in USA Wrestling. It'll be the first neutral site championship in the, in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference held in Colorado Springs since 2004 when we last had our men's and women's basketball tournaments at the World Arena. It'll be held in conjunction with the Dave Schultz Memorial, and I know Cody will have an opportunity and is very interested in talking more about that, which I think is, a, is an exceptionally unique experience that our student athletes get to see some of the great senior level US uh, and national competition in wrestling here at the Olympic Training Center on the same weekend that the RMAC Conference Championship will be held. Finally, as I already indicated, no student athlete at the NCAA double A level at any level division one two or three will have the same opportunity which makes this exceptional for the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference and particularly our student athletes so with that I'd like to turn it over to Aaron McGuire for comments thanks Chris and uh, thank you all for your time today thank you all for being here it's certainly a pleasure um, on behalf of the Olympic Training Center we are 
certainly very excited to create this partnership between the RMAC Sports Corp and USA Wrestling. Um, at the end of the day, it comes down to partnerships to provide amazing experiences for our student athletes and our Olympic and Paralympic athletes and hopefuls. And so to be able to host an event like this, um, you know, the first ever event like this uh, at the Olympic Training Center, we're certainly excited. Uh, we're excited for not only the student athletes that will have the opportunity to walk around the 35 acres of Olympic training complex, um, but also for the community of Colorado Springs to come out and see some amazing wrestling as well. Uh, in partnership with USA Wrestling, uh, the U Olympic Training Center has just made an, an amazing upgrade um, to our wrestling center where we've, we've improved it, increased it from three wrestling rings up to eight wrestling rings. And so we're heavily invested in wrestling and excited about the future of wrestling in the United States. So to be able to host an event like this, uh, we're certainly very excited and looking forward uh, to uh, all the athletes arriving. Chris, congratulations on your new event. And I want to say thank you to all the members of the conference for choosing Colorado Springs as the host city for this event. The Sports Corp, it's an honor for us to, to be involved. We'll work behind the scenes. Uh, you, we've got some great partnership. And what's, what's great about Colorado Springs, we call Colorado Springs America's Olympic City. And it has 50 national sport organizations. So when a conference like RMAC comes, we work together to partner with USA Wrestling, the Olympic Committee. And that's what makes our city so great is, is the uh, sports industry here. And so we'll put a lot of effort into this. We'll try to make it a great success. And hopefully, it's an annual event. Yes. Um, so on behalf of Rich Bender and USA Wrestling, we're extremely excited about this partnership, Chris, and um, we look forward to a great, great event, no, no question. We are in a situation right now with because of our facilities, and Aaron's come on board here recently, and uh, what we've done with the facilities here on campus is really second to none. So we have a very confident, uh, we are very confident in knowing that when the athletes and coaches step on this complex, they'll be taken care of well, and uh, they'll be in a situation with facility-wise that um, they'll like very well. So um, we're excited about that. As Chris alluded to, that same weekend, we host a very large international tournament, which not only brings our highest profile athletes within the United States, but from all over the world. You'll see countries like Japan, China, Russia here the same weekend alongside these athletes. So it's going to be a great weekend. We're excited about that. That actually also serves as a, a qualifier for our Olympic trials later on in April, where athletes competing in our tournament will go on to uh, compete for a spot at the, uh, in the Olympic trials in April. So we're excited about this partnership. We know that it's going to be a great event. And uh, once again, because the facilities were, we know that it's going to be a situation that everybody steps on campus is going to be very pleased with the outcome of this event. So thank you, Chris. Thank you. Yeah, that's a great question, Joe. Um, Actually, I'm going to point to Eric Danner, our associate commissioner here, a gentleman who's uh, celebrating 10 years in the league and has a, a, a wider history being a, a Metro State graduate. And Eric, understanding the evolution of wrestling, the changes that have made with regional competition and hosting our, our championship there, going to a regular season tournament last year for the first time, which was successful, and we don't want to lose th those, uh, th those institutionally located competitions we don't because uh, they were well attended and highly successful last year but Eric came forward and, and a concept that had been discussed in the office with my predecessor Joel Smith too and it was through the relationships that that we've developed here Tom Osborne was kind when I first came into town to introduce me to Aaron and uh, began the networking Rich Bender's a former Wisconsin guy like myself and so we had a we struck up a very nice relationship where we decided maybe we can put something together that the student athletes don't have right now because uh, as a, as a, someone who covers one of our institutions that sponsors wrestling joe you're aware that when we host it at during the regional event for ncaa division two it doesn't quite have it doesn't nearly have the feel that an rmac event should have and so it's it's a bit organic we felt that it was needed in the conference office and i think that's really where it started eric had the concept we followed through with it. We gained the support from these individuals here. And then I want to thank uh, the coaches and the athletic directors at the sponsor institutions for supporting it. Um, 
it didn't it doesn't come with some trepidation are we going to lose our our home dual meets are we going to be seeing other wrestlers too often what time of the year is it going to occur because um, we don't want our athletes to get injured when they get into the NCAA postseasons also and we have Doug Moses and um, from New Mexico Highlands and our coach from uh, from Colorado School of Mines Austin who while they're here today supporting us as do others but unanimously voted finally that this would be the the opportunity for our student athletes to really gain a championship experience in a great facility <laughs> I'll, I'll take a stab at that one joe um it got to the point the the region and all the schools in the rmac were the same so when san francisco state joined as a as an associate member they decided to go to a where they would combine the regional and the RMAC championship into one tournament. And there was concern, and actually probably Doug uh, was, was coaching at the time, or uh, he's, he's, he's been around longer than me, but he can probably address it one-on-one, uh, -on -one, but uh, at that they didn't want to see each other too often What was a concern. So we had sometimes it, the time of the tournament, two weeks before the regional, then the same guys would wrestle at the regional, and then they might wrestle again at the nationals. They'd wrestle each other three times, maybe in a in a month and a month and a half, and that was a, a big concern for the coaches at that time. So, really, serving as the NGB, I mean, anything we can do to help grow the sport, we're going to jump on board if it's possible. Obviously, the concept came about what we had going on that weekend. Logistically, can we make it work? Obviously. The RMAC in this region, alongside the national governing body where we're housed, the conference office where we're housed, it's pretty much a slam dunk um, if logistic, logistically if it could work. So um, really, once again, just serving as the NGB, the opportunity to grow the sport. If we get those opportunities, we're going to do it. We have a logistic nightmare going on every weekend. <laughs> we host a lot of national events. We have our, you know, a huge tournament going on as we speak right now at North Dakota State University, um, our national tournament. Um, you know, we, this is not something that, that's new to us. Uh, Pete Isaias and our uh, national team event staff, uh, they can, we're more than confident once again that they can run events like this because we do side-by-side -side events simultaneously all the time. Um, so from kids, we've hosted tournaments. We host one in Las Vegas, our U.S. Open each year, from little kids up to the senior level, all going on simultaneously in, in a huge convention center. So this is not something that uh, we're going to be overwhelmed with. We'll do a good job working alongside Aaron and the OTC Operations Department, and it'll be a good event. Well, it's, it's another great sporting event, and that's what the Sports Corp does is is assist and try to bring in additional sporting events throughout the year. And, and what's ideal about this event, it's in January, so it's off-peak season with the hotels. Uh, they'll fill some hotel rooms, and that's heads and beds and economic impact for the city. So the Sports Corp, once again, is, is pleased to be uh, behind the scenes and supporting this, and we'll help with volunteers and try to raise a little money for them. But, uh, it, it's a strong group and it'll be a great event. You know, we're getting such a reputation around the country. Uh, the, the Colorado Springs, America's Olympic City, uh, this is just another feather in the cap of, of all the events that, that are happening here. The state games, the Pikes Peak Hill Climb, the, the Balloon Fest is coming and, and this will be another great event. Well, I'd say the Olympic Training Center is uh, in the business of, of providing life-changing experiences. Um, not only for the guests that come on site, we want to uh, raise their appreciation and education for Olympic and Paralympic uh, athletes and what they go through uh, in preparation for the Games, uh, but also for our athletes as well. We want to make sure we provide the tools, the resources, uh, the experiences, and the competitions for them to be successful. Uh, for our younger athletes that come to the training center, we'll, we want to make sure that they're inspired and, and motivated to stay in the sport throughout their entire career, uh, whatever sport that is. Uh, for our more elite athletes, we want to provide them with uh, tools like coaching, strength conditioning support, uh, sports medicine, uh, venues to train, to, to take them to the next level, whether it's from a national team to an Olympic or Paralympic team, or from that uh, Olympic and Paralympic team up to standing on the podium and, and earning a medal. So uh, like Tom said, any t opportunity we can uh, provide or identify 
to provide that life-changing experience for student athletes or athletes at any level. Uh, we're certainly interested in, in getting involved and in, in providing that experience for them. So this is uh, obviously a, a, a logical connection um, with Colorado Springs, RMAC Sports Corp, and uh, USA Wrestling. And so it, it, it's the perfect storm of excellence here. For sure, it just once again brings more recognition to the sport. So um, once again, anything we can do to provide opportunities like that or events like that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be good for everybody. It's going to be good for the sport of wrestling as a whole, but especially the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. Wrestling is, is international. Uh, Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference is national. We're one of the more competitive Division II leagues in, in many sports in the entire nation. Um, I think it's mutually beneficial, but back to the question about the event and how it's going to be run and, and uh, the little bit of pain and suffering that they might go through that weekend, adding an extra 90 wrestlers and three mats and trying to get through quarterfinals, semifinals, and have some championships. Um, it's, it's going to be because of the USA Wrestling brand, because of their knowledge, experience, their professionalism, it will be the best run collegiate champ, conference championship it, it, it will be, it has to be, because they know what they're doing and uh, we couldn't be more pleased and our student athletes couldn't be more um, excited about that and our coaches. So the, the fact that um, the USA Wrestling brand is a part of this to begin with, I would say we're, we're, we're equally, if not more, uh, blessed to have that opportunity and to have the opportunity to have a well-run tournament. So no pressure. <laughs> I'll pass that along to the events now. <laughs> Chris, this is one of the few RMAC championships going to the neutral site. Is this a trend? Yeah. Really no, I wouldn't say it's a trend. I, I say when opportunity, there, there isn't a philosophy that we necessarily carry right now. It's more or less when opportunity presents itself, we're not going to shy away. We're going to take a look at it. We're going to try to con convince and work with our, our coaches on, on why we think it's in the best interest of the RMAC as a whole. While there might be a particular institution or two or coach or two or student athlete or two that it, it, it doesn't work as well for, we think for the RMAC, for the entire organization, for all nine wrestling sponsors, that this event makes sense. Um, Will those opportunities present themselves with other NGBs of Olympic sports that we sponsor? They may down the road, but for now, we're just excited to focus on this one. What are your expectations for the I, I guess I can take that one. Uh, being new to the league, I've been here a year and a half, and I've only been through one of our wrestling events. CSU Pueblo hosted regionals just this past year. I, all I can do is reference what I've been told in the past. I know here in the state of Colorado, wrestling is fairly popular. I've been told the state high school tournament sells out. And, and I've been told that the basketball tournament may not even do that, that wrestling has that uh, tremendous of a following. The Division II national tournament was hosted by CSU Pueblo a few years back, and I was also told that was a sellout. I would expect this to be highly attended. The facility holds about 2,600. 2,600. I, I would fully expect to have 2,600 people here and, and for us to consider it a sellout. And I think the fact that our fans, the parents, the, um, the friends, and the supporters of our MAC Wrestling and our nine member institutions are going to take advantage of a tremendous opportunity to see some great international wrestling in the previous two days. So I think, I think those things combined will make this a wildly successful event.